Hey guys, welcome back to Jurassic Collectibles. I hope you're all doing really well. Today I'm super excited to share with you my assembled and painted Parasaurolophus maquette from The Lost World. As you guys may know, I obtained this last year from an online auction that came in pieces. My friend Gavin Robinson from MyJurassicPark.com and Prehistoric Reserve has very kindly assembled and primed this piece. It was originally created by Paul Magias, who worked on The Lost World at Stan Winston Studios back in 1996. He has the original sculpt, complete with bold bearing eyes. And he also created the Gallimimus for the original Jurassic Park. Here you can see his sculpt. And here you can see him sharing his work with the late and great Ray Harryhausen. Now the story behind the Parasaurolophus in The Lost World is quite interesting. Originally there was a scene cut from The Lost World at the very start when a trawler, a fishing trawler, pulls up the corpse of a Parasaurolophus and this was the corpse that was sculpted by Paul Magias and his team. This concept came from the novel The Lost World uh, where Richard Levine reports that corpses are being washed up on the shores on the mainland. That corpse found its way into the film as a background piece here at the Rex Nest and again near the worker village. You can see it here in the corner. And actually it stayed around on the Universal lot and was used in Jurassic Park 3 when they find T-Rex feasting on it. But Paul Magias' sculpt ended up being reference for the digital build of the Parasaurolophus and that's what this one would have been used for. Uh, it would have been used as reference to build the digital model for the Parasaurolophus that you see in the Lost World. So let's take a closer look at my sculpt. This is a recast. It's a first or second generation recast. You can tell that because of the amount of detail that's been retained. It's a really beautiful sculpt. You can see all the lovely detail that Paul Magias put into this thing. It really does hold up. And it would have been used for director approval, so it would have been shown to Steven Spielberg to approve for use at Industrial Light and Magic to build the dinosaur that you see in the film. And it's seen running with the herd when uh, the InGen team arrives and starts to snare all the dinosaurs and then Dieter Stark's team uh, pull one down. But you can see all the lovely detail going on here, really naturalistic. Really lovely creases and folds, and lovely scales and bumps going on here. And these feet are just incredible. Really beautiful wrinkles and folds going on there, even on the inside of this leg. Lovely muscle definition and I love all the tendons in the ankles there. Really bird-like. And this detail just carries on all the way down the tail. It's just absolutely gorgeous. Here's a look at its belly. You can see really nice subtle creases going all the way along here. And Gavin's done a spectacular job attaching those legs. Pretty much seamless. And here you can see the underside of the feet and the original color of the resin. But this really is a treasured piece in my collection. Um, I've only seen one other go up on eBay and that was recently. And uh, I'm just really proud to have this as part of my collection. It's a really beautiful casting. Okay guys, rate, comment and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.